Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Rocky Linux 9. But the process is same on Rocky Linux 8 also. Okay, first open any web browser. Go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See, PostgreSQL 17 is released on this date. Click on download, then select Linux. See here we have to select Red Hat, Rocky or Alma Linux. Select it. See the PostgreSQL M repository currently supports on RHL, Rocky, Alma Linux, CentOS, Oracle and Fedora. Okay. If you scroll down, select the version. See the latest version is 17. Then select the platform. So select if it is Rocky Linux 8, you select 8. If it is Rocky Linux 9, select 9. Okay. Select it. Once we select it, see list of the commands populated to install the PostgreSQL 17. So, first we have to run these commands one by one. So, copy the first one. So, copy it. Now, open terminal. Paste the command. Hit enter. Then, provide the password of sudo user. is done. Now disable the in inbuilt PostgreSQL module by running this command. Paste it, hit enter. It is done. Now we have to install the PostgreSQL 17 by using this command. Okay. So type the command manually. sudo dnf install hyphen y means it won't ask us the confirmation and PostgreSQL Hi, 17. If you give 16, it will install the 16. If you give the 15, it will install the 15. So give the 17 and give the server and hit enter. See, it is going to install PostgreSQL 17. Okay. So type Y for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed PostgreSQL 17. Control here to clear screen. Now we have to optionally run these commands. Copy this command Th that is going to initialize the database. Copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. Then we have to enable the PostgreSQL 17 and start the PostgreSQL service. Before that, verify the status. sudo systemctl. status postgresql hyphen 17 hit enter see postgresql is installed but it but it is not started and disabled so let us enable by running this command copy it paste it hit enter now start it just replace this enable with start flag hit enter now verify the status See, PostgreSQL 17 is running and it is enabled. Q to quit, control it to clear screen. The first step after installation is we have to set the password for Postgres user. That is super user. So, connect to Postgres sudo su hyphen Postgres. This is the super user. Then PSQL. Then select the version. Select version. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 17. So, now set the password for Postgres user. Alter user Postgres with password. Then provide the new password. We have successfully set the password. Verify list of users. See, we have only one user. Let's verify list of databases. See, these are the three databases comes with the installation of PostgreSQL. Let us create a database. Create database Arthroscopes. Put semicolon at the end of the each statement. Now verify slash l. See new database after school is there. And this is the one of the database and remaining are the properties of the database. Now connect to this new database and create tables. So to switch to new database we have to use the command backslash c or connect both ourselves. So give the database name. Now create table. Create table. 
provide the column name and data types. Yes, now int. Let us verify list of tables. See, we have only one table that is created. We can also verify the data by using the command select star from table name. Table name here is student. See, we don't have any data. So, let us insert some data into this table. Insert into student values. We have inserted one more one row. Let us insert one more row. Let us insert one more row, but this time I am not going to change the S number. I am only changing David. It will throw error. See, Deep duplicate key violates unique key constraint. Why? Because here I defined column as primary key. If a column is defined with primary key, it won't allow duplicate values. So, give the unique value here. See, let us verify the data. Select star from student. See, we have inserted three rows. Control into clear screen. Now, if you want to get particular columns, you have to give the column names like this. From student. See, we have three columns. Two columns. Okay. Select S name. See, we got only single column. Okay. If you want to see the configuration files location, you have to give show config underscore file see this is the configuration file which is process equal configuration file which is having all server level configuration information the other one is show hba underscore file see hba means host based authentication which contains authentication rules if you want to see the log directory you have to give log underscore directory see this is the log directory okay so control to clear screen if you want to create a user, create user James with provide the password. I forgot to give password flag keyword password keyword. We have created. Let us verify. See, we have these users. We want to now switch exit and connect to PostgreSQL with this user PSQL hyphen u james then provide the database there any database name is fine i forgot to give the host name hyphen h local host then provide the password of the james user now if we try to create you can see the data but we can't we can't insert data or create data create objects create table test one test name int this is for just verification see permission needed for schema public see we have this scheme see we have this schema okay so to create tables for the new user we must grant the privileges Okay, for that I made a video, you can go through it and you can practice to grant or revoke privileges in PostgreSQL server. To exit, we have to use the backslash Q or simply use the exit, both are same, exit from this user that is Postgres. Now we are going to see how to stop, start and restart PostgreSQL on Pracky Linux. The process is same on RHL also, also. So, system CTL. Stop Postgres SQL iPhone 17. Now verify again sudo system CTL status Postgres SQL iPhone 17. See Postgres SQL service is stopped. Okay, Q to quit. Now try to connect to Postgres SQL whenever it is stopped sudo su hyphen postgres psql see we are unable to connect to postgres now start it again 
we cannot start with postgres user until we got privileges to this user sudo system ctl start postgres equal hyphen 17 hit enter now connect to postgres equal sudo now verify see postgres equal service is running go to it you, you can also verify by connecting to postgres server yes you'll see we are able to connect go to it exit now use the system ctl restart which is used to restart the postgres equal server postgres equal hyphen hyphen 17 enter verify again see postgres equal started 4 seconds ago we took it control to clear screen until now we have seen how to connect to postgres equal by using psql client you can also connect to postgres equal by using db or pj admin you can go through my channel and you can see how to install pj admin for on db or on rhl or rack linux so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgres equal 17 on rack linux operating system for more postgres equal or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you